Hello everybody. So today I actually have all my radios here at once. So here I do an updated collection. So I don't want to do this. But I'm gonna go from the one I got first to one I got most recently. So let's begin. So this is my Midland W100 version 5. It works just fine. I got it for three bucks at a flea market. It didn't come with a cable. We've seen this once. So, yeah. Next to it, though, is my only way to read out of service. My Accurate 8550. As you can see on the back, it says 8550, but... I don't feel like testing any of these, by the way. This guy... It was off just fine. This guy, though, doesn't have a tone. It just goes off for the alert. Yeah. And the speaker died twice in it. And I lost the cable. And I had lost the charger. So, yeah. It went out of service before I lost the charger, though. I think it's a good thing. And, same month. Maybe I thought I was giving it accurate. Same month. At two different radios. The Radio Shack 12 250 and the Midland WR 120. Easy. The Radio Shack 12 250 I've seen a lot, and I got it for five bucks at a thrift store. And it works phenomenally. The only thing with it is if I have weather.im up and I have the um, tone for example time the thing goes. For every single time there's an alert, or temperatures, or whatever, it goes off for an unknown warning. Anyhow, in this tone, everything works other than that. And also, the uh, thing for the county codes is missing. Here is my Midland W120. National Weather Service. Broadcasting on a frequency of 162.500 megahertz. This is my only weather radio that can get a fresh signal on KGY 68 here. Yeah. I got this brand new for 20 bucks at a Walgreens, okay? Next up, rarest radio I have is the Radio Shack 12 249. This one also works fine about KIG 86. Perfect timing. <laughs> But yeah, over here, just before I got the 259, no, 249, the 249, I had gotten for about 12 bucks off eBay. It was brand new, it was never used, although it had county codes on the county code listing thing on it. This is my Radio Shack 12 Plus 259. I don't have the cable for it, that's why it's not on right now. But yeah, works completely fine. For a second, I thought. It would go off of jack crap, but actually, I thought that until I got a weekly test on it. So, yeah. The only problem with it is, well, I think for the battery door is gone. Who on earth knows what happened to that thing? Okay, finally, we're here. I have my use in Bearcat BC125AT. I got this for about 50 bucks off eBay. It works just fine. I've not kind of learned it, although. I know for a fact, the freak, although I know for a fact that it went off for a flood warning and a few weekly tests. Now, there's a thing to this. Why did I do this all? Well, because of the coronavirus. All of these guys, except for the Accurite, over the next three weeks, will all be involved in weekly tests. Yes, so we made our first alert on the WR120 with the tone on. So we got a first, no, that wouldn't be a first one for right now. So we got a first alert for the 249 on here and for the Bearcat. Yeah. Stay tuned for the next few weeks. Goodbye.